Hey everyone, I'm Chris. Sarah's behind the camera. Hi. Today we wanted to show you our new build on this lightly used 2018 Promaster 159 wheelbase. Only 22,600 miles. And let's start with the outside. We have running boards on both sides, Laverne running boards. Just behind that on the passenger side is your gray water tank drain. Just a simple hose connection with a ball valve. Back here, this is your 15 amp shore power. Two windows in the rear. We have covers for both of those on the inside. Backup camera. And we put the entry gland for the solar panel wiring in the backup camera so there's no additional holes in the roof. Just really quick, you can see the this side, really good condition. Uh, this van is an Arizona vehicle. It was actually used just to transport show dogs from the previous owner. Took really good care of it. Running board there. Notice the bed is a little higher, 32 inches of clearance under here for bikes or whatever else you have to bring. A lot of storage space. I did forget the outdoor shower hose. Um, that's my bad, <laughs> but it is does come with the van. I just didn't bring it today. Quick disconnect right here for that uh, hot and cold water. And you'll see the electrical system uh, on our Instagram, you can see some more pictures of this. Behind this board with all the components is 400 amp hours of Battleborn Lithiums, and they are locked down with the 8020 that we'll talk more about. So they're not going anywhere. Quality Victron solar controller. We have the uh, Orion DC to DC charger. That is a 30 amp charger that charges your batteries while you drive. Lynx distrib distributor. Um, that's basically, think of that as your bus bars. That's where all the power is run off from. Turn off switch, battery monitor, um, shunt, main fuse, 3000 watt multi plus Victron inverter. Couple things I forgot to mention back here. One, I have a plug in the rear on the inverter in case you have electric bikes or something like that you needed to charge. And just a little thing, the previous owner actually had a bed liner on the whole inside of the van. So this is on the entire floor of the van as a spray in bed liner. Uh, for our purposes, that at least means that whether you would spill something or um, if you ski and get a lot of snow in your van, you never have to worry about water working its way down to the van floor and rusting it out. Here's a look at the inside. I guess we'll start with kind of the, the bottoms here on the cabinets, except for the three quarter inch door where the toilet's stored. But uh, all the sides here are King Starboard. That's HDPE. It's a type of plastic that's found in the marine industry a lot. It'll basically take anything. Very durable, very easy to clean. And you can see this is all attached to our 8020 extruded aluminum framing. And it's all extruded aluminum framing. And what extruded aluminum is, uh, the benefits of it are it's very strong for its weight. So I'll show you in a second. You can rock the whole van by grabbing that galley and trying to shake it. This stuff is bolted to the van. Uh, I'd like to see you try to shake a lot of these vans from the galley without the cabinet kind of coming apart. So, let's go. 
first thing here real quick, instead of a slider, or a swivel, instead of a swivel on the uh, front seat, we wanted to store the toilet here, and I thought when you move the, the re reclining position up on these front seats, you actually end up with a pretty comfortable, pretty comfortable seat here, especially after you've been in the driving seats all day. I don't think you really want to spend too much time there when you're ready to settle down and relax. This is more comfortable to me. We made the cushions. These are all standard size outdoor cushions. So if one would ever get damaged or if you just want to change the color at some point, it's really easy to find them. You can buy them a lot of different places. Just really quick, I'll show you storage of the toilet. I didn't want I didn't want another handle up here where you're walking in, especially since you sit here. I didn't want a handle possibly you hitting your leg on or anything. So I just brought the three quarter inch door out very slightly, just enough to get your hand on and open. Open that up, bloom hinges. Your toilet is in here. And I figure this area is about where you would have it when you're doing your business. When you're done, it goes right back in. That's that. Storage up here. Figure a trash can uh, is what I'm intending to fit down there. I think that's probably what most people would do. All 80-20 as you can see. Very solid. Typical ProMaster storage up here. It's, you know, if you've never been in a ProMaster, it's quite a bit of storage up here. Very deep. Max air fan here blows exhaust only. And... When we get to the bedroom, we'll show you there's another Max Air fan that has the remote and that can go in or out. The galley here, Luna White Corian countertop. The Rabati sink. A lot of people use this as a really nice cutting board that's built into the sink. Stainless steel now induction cooktop you got your plug right here that's on the 3000 watt inverter and you have more than enough power uh, you never really have to worry about power with this rig so the induction cooktop is here when you want to use it and it easily stores right under here in this slot um, when you're traveling or when you just want it out of the way and you can also the benefit of the portable ones is you can take them outside if you're at a campground or something easily just use it outside all the upper cabinets have acrylic sliding doors you're not gonna have to worry about any hinges breaking you can kind of get hopefully an idea I don't know if the camera will pick that up of the space you're working with in there so these are acrylic doors sliding doors 80 20 framing and again we have the HDPE on the sides of the upper cabinets and also on your control board here. So it's very easy to clean and you're, it's not something you're gonna have to worry about. The other cool thing I like about using this stuff is if you, years down the line, if you did wanna change up your colors, you're just sick of the colors and you want something new, it's pretty easy. I mean, you can, any quarter inch wood or other color acrylic pops right out of here very easily and you can change it out. And it's really not that hard to change out even these side panels. These are all bolted into the 8020. So it's just a matter of taking the bolts out, getting whatever you want, whether it be wood, uh, different color, uh, whatever, and cutting it to that size, bolt it back in, you're good to go. And that goes for the even the bottoms. We have 12 volt Danfoss compressor fridge, very efficient. little little freezer there magnetic door maybe some ice cream bars that's probably what I would want to fit up there <laughs> and this thing especially 
it, it sips power, especially in the day. I mean, the solar takes care of that. You don't even, you're not using your battery. Okay. I guess, talk about the drawers and fronts here. This is all maple. So, in here, you'll see nice maple. It's gonna last a long time. Two and a half gallon Bosch electric uh, water heater and a very quiet variable speed water pump down there. It does have all PEX plumbing except for that stranded vinyl and you do that stranded vinyl coming off your water pumps. That absorbs vibration and makes them quieter. And you'll notice uh, something a little different is the water heater is on a timer switch. Since the water heater is a heavy power draw. It's not something you would want to flick on and then just forget about. So I put it on a timer switch. In 10 minutes you get hot water on this thing. It's pretty great. So you just would turn your inverter on, press the 10 minute button, and you're good to go. After 10 minutes it'll shut itself off and you have hot water. Here we have three quarter inch solid maple fronts. And we have the dovetail half inch solid maple drawers on this one. Trying to show you they all are a little different uh, depths or heights I guess I should say. And here we have the bloom uh, sliders. That's your biggest one. And also under here you can you can take these drawers out pretty easily. There's handles right underneath that you um, basically just clench and you can lift the drawer off and I say that because under here if you ever wanted to get to your um, there's two shutoffs for the water one is under there for the water coming into the pump and there's another one right at the water heater for water coming off if you ever know, have to change out your pump or do some other work over here we have the LED lights, four of them. In my first van, I think we had eight of them, and that was really overkill. <laughs> it's way too much. When it's dark in these vans, four is more than enough light, and they are on a dimmer. I don't know how the camera picks that up. A lot of times they strobe and stuff on, on camera. But um, you have your USB charging. I figure when you're sleeping, could have your phones here or laptops, anything. Victron battery monitor, and right now we are at 100%, of course. There's 570 watts of solar on the roof, so you're, you're pretty well set up for off-grid with this van. You have 400 amp hours of Battleborns, and you have um, charging via the alternator, you have the shore power, if you ever need that at a friend's house or something and the 570 watts of solar so you have the controller then for the inverter right there quick turn on and off smaller cabinet up here cedar ceilings by the way it's all cedar I don't know if you'll be able to kind of see back in there the lighting's probably not the best right now again it's all bolted to the van with riv nuts and bolts the 8020 is connected to the van so here it's not going anywhere this stuff is built to last i, I love it very very strong okay bedroom we have six inch memory foam mattress with slats under it not solid plywood now this is beneficial because it's way more comfortable on just a six inch mattress it is way more comfortable than if you would put that on just plywood and no worries about mold because the circulation of air is really good and also in the bedroom on both sides and you know the trim pieces here is marine vinyl padded marine vinyl so it makes it really comfortable up here in the bedroom 
just a nice quality material. Reading lights on both sides. Don't know if the light comes through, but it does work. And they also have another um, USB on each of those. On, you can kind of maybe see on that one. Yeah. More USB charging table with a bamboo top. You're probably familiar with them by now. Uh, more 110 power and more USB charging. I put that plug there, I figure, is if you're working here, you could plug your laptop in if you had to. Um, and if you're like us and are giant wussies when it comes to cold, we would probably like maybe a heated blanket. So, here... You have the lagoon table you can both I wish there was another there was a cameraman so we could show you but you can both sit here with the lagoon table you can kind of lounge back in here if you wanted to there's pictures of this uh, I think on the listing with Sarah this is a comfortable spot to be on the computer you have this spot too if somebody wanted to sit at this end with the door open say you have a nice view like we kind of have going on here um, in Sarah Park, Lake Havasu. Two people can sit there across from each other and eat or That's or about whatever. it. Um, we have 30 gallons of fresh water. Not sure if I mentioned that. 30 gallons of fresh water. It's right under this bench. You fill it by, there's an easy to get to hatch. This top board just lifts up and you can slide it to the side. And there's an easy hatch to get to to fill the fresh water and it makes it easy to clean in there if you ever wanted to do that too. 15 gallons of gray water is what's under the van um, and like we said when we were out there it's just an easy drain. Um, Max Air fan in the back is the one with the remote and the remote's right here that you can reach from bed to turn that off and on. That goes in and out with 10 speeds. So I think that's it. You can get more information in the links below and uh, I'll have a link to like our Instagram too because there's some photos of um, the progress, putting up our thin slate insulation. I didn't mention that. <laughs> we had thin slate insulation on all this. Um, and I'm probably forgetting other stuff. If I am, I apologize and we'll just have to put that on the Instagram. But until then, thanks for looking.